I uh, want to just first of all welcome everybody to my wife's 39th birthday. I actually uh, just celebrated my 37th birthday. Zelo nachon, nachon, zelo nachon. I'm very, very happy that all of you came here to help me celebrate my wife's, is it right to say it? 70th birthday. You know, when we have Shabbat and we have our guests, if we have 50, 100, 150 kids in the house, I always tell them, be careful who you date. You may just wind up with them for a long time. By the way, when you're 18, a long time is sitting through a movie. You know, it's, uh, sometimes it's an hour is a long time. Sometimes it's a week. Sometimes you can't wait for summer vacation to get here, right? And I think about it, the fact that we got a couple of things going on. First of all, my wife's 70th birthday. But <clears throat> it's amazing because, you know what? She looks just like she did when I met, when I met first met her. And it's amazing. And she can get into the same dress size, too. That's even more amazing. It's unbelievable. I look at that smile, and I'm looking at some of the pictures that we have going back to when we met. Some people called me Prince Valiant. I had hair that was a little long. And my wife had that beautiful smile, and she still has it. And I am still in as love with her today as I was then. Did I say it the way you told me to? And more, more. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm correct, I'm correct. I'm more in love with her today than I was when I first met her. But of course, that's what happens. First, you think you're in love, and then you get to know each other, and then you get to spend time with each other, and you get to see the wonderful attributes, and then you know why you're in love with her. And I'm still in love with her. You're amazing. You know, for those of you who have been to our house on Shabbat, you know, what's, what's so amazing is she does it all by herself. I have told her time and time again, listen, please, let's get help. She says, no, it's not the same if I'm not preparing the meal, right? But of course, you all know that I help with the meal. You do know that, right? I stay out of the kitchen. That's how I help. I stay out of the kitchen. No, but I actually, we have Vanji here. Uh, Vanji is uh, Bonnie's right hand. Hi, Vanji. Thank you. We could do nothing without you. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So, um, it's my wife's 70th birthday, and it's our 48th year of being married. Wow. And that's pretty amazing since I'm only 39. <laughs> so, um, I just want to tell you, honey, that this has been an amazing, amazing life that you've created for us. And the fact that you've said, let's move, you were right. Moving to Yerushalayim has kept us young, has kept us alive, has given us meaning in our life, and I hope that it's spread out to other people. And um, I really, really appreciate you. I also want to thank my, my daughter and her husband and my grandchildren, my Rachel Hanna, where are you? Rachel Hanna, are you around? Can you come over? <laughs> Can you come over? Yeah. Oh, this is not Rachel Hanna, this is Shira Ariella. She's the pistol, she's afraid of nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, and by the way, Ra Shira, you have to come here because there is one thing I need to tell you and tell everybody else. Uh, we're, this is actually a double celebration. Shira Ariella is going to be seven years old this Shabbat, right? Yom Hulet Okay, they told me don't sing, and I know why. So this is Rachel Hanna. Yom Hulet Zameh. 
היא לומדת עברית איתי, נכון? קצת. קצת, אוקיי. ‫אוקיי, who I adore and I love and I cherish. Can you please say that louder? And I appreciate, <laughs> and anybody who's ever come to my house on Shabbos knows how amazing he is. Or anybody that knows Alan, which is all of you, you know how incredibly amazing he is. And thank you, honey, for the best birthday ever. He's given me a few birthday parties that have been surprises. This one started out as a surprise, but it kind of got overwhelming, so he told me. And, uh, I just, I could only say I keep looking around and I keep seeing everybody that's so dear to me and how many people I just love. And I'm like, usually you go to an affair, a wedding, a hasana, simka, and you say, wow, look who's here. And then you see somebody else that you know and say, oh, I can't believe you're here. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. But tonight I'm looking at every single one of you and I'm like, you're all here. And I'm so grateful to have every single one of you in my life. And I realize you're all here because we invited you all. So <laughs> that's why I know you all and I love you all. And I'm so grateful that you all came. And I'm especially grateful to my daughter, Cheryl Sarrukel, who flew in from California with her husband, Terry, and my precious, precious granddaughters. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. My precious, precious granddaughters, Shira Ariella, who has the most beautiful curls tonight. <laughs> And Rachel Hanna, Rachel Hanna, who I adore. I am blessed with two beautiful miracle granddaughters, and I'm, every moment I spend with them is precious. And I especially also want to thank my son, who surprised me and flew in yesterday. I had no idea he was going to be here. And on my 80th, we'll play the video of him surprising me. I was totally overwhelmed. And I'm so, Michael, can you come over? And Cheryl? Can my children come? By the way, I made a mistake. I didn't know he was coming either, but when he walked into the store where Bonnie was shopping for this beautiful dress, um, if you would have heard the scream, if you were, had your ears open, because you could have heard, heard it in Tel Aviv, she was shocked. She was shocked. <laughs> this is my daughter, Cheryl Rachel. Michael Adam. Michael lives in Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah, I keep getting it wrong. And Cheryl lives in Topanga, California. And she's here for a month or so. And uh, we're very, very happy that they came. Want to say anything? Michael, you want to say something? Anyways, I just want to give everybody a bracha. Not only is it my birthday, but it's Rosh Hodesh Tammuz. Which, isn't that a miracle? It happens every year, my birthday. comes with fresh hoes Tom moose comes along and so does my birthday and I get I please God another year kinder and wiser is all I wish to be that's all I want for my birthday and good health and uh, all of all of you to surround me and my precious precious family who I adore and I'm so grateful that they're here but all of you should just be blessed with much Simka and joy and Bruka and it's luck in everything and Ch- and you should all have knock us from your children and your grandchildren and please God some of you are great grandparents um, you should all have knock us from all of your generations and you should all of your children your grandchildren and your great ch- grandchildren should not be that last link that they should continue in the tradition of Abraham Yitzhak and Yaakov and Sarah Rifka Ruckel and Leah and we should we're overlooking the Kotel we should all be here in generation after generation as Jews raising our families living in Yerushalayim and please God we should all be here to greet Mashiach together and one last thing I just want to thank my dear dear friend Rabbi Yehuda Weinberg for 
for everything that he's done for me and to making this all happen and putting, for us being in this beautiful, incredible venue overlooking the coattail. There is no place better. So I really, I wish I could mention you all by name. I totally love you all. But thank you, darling, for the best, best birthday. You, thank you, Alan Cohen, my amazing, incredible husband, for the best birthday ever. And to my, in memory of my parents and Alan's parents, who, who I know are smiling down on us from Shemayim, everything that they gave us and everything that they taught us and everything that they did for us and who we are, I just want to tell you I miss you all and I love you very, very much. And uh, Rosh Hodesh Tov, everybody. I love you all. Tadarba, everyone, for coming. It's, it's not that it's over, not that it's over at all, but again, uh, we really appreciate the fact that you're here to help celebrate with us. So we have a special uh, surprise. We have, uh, I actually, uh, when I came to Israel for the very first time, I did not think I had a single family member in Israel. And we have, I found out, and I won't go through the story, but I found out we actually have relatives here. And we wound up with at least 60 or more members of my family who live here. We've become very close, we love them. And uh, we get together and every year, I don't know, the, the 20 that I first met became 30, became 40, became 60. And if you see all these little kids running around, you'll see why there's going to be, each one of them is going to probably have eight or ten more. Right? And uh, it's beautiful. And we're going to ask, uh, I have my cousin, who you may know by name because he's a very famous singer in Eretz Israel. He's, a, he's agreed to uh, sing a couple songs for us. Doron Mazar, Babakashah. <laughs> 